One of the questions we get asked quite a bit here at Mac Tech is about how graphics processing works under virtualization. And so we've gone ahead here and we've set up a couple of machines side by side, and we're gonna go ahead and get them started here at the same time. And what we're running here is VMware Fusion 3 on the left and Parallels Desktop 5 on the right. These are both running under Snow Leopard 10.6.2. Both are on a MacBook Pro. Uh, both have their graphics uh, processor running at the best performance as opposed to the uh, better energy conservation. And as you can see here, we get into the heart of it much more quickly on uh, Parallels Desktop 5. Um, and there's definitely a smoother feel to Parallels Desktop over VMware Fusion. Now as we move into the next set of tests here, and this is all under 3 d Mark, what you see here is a remnant of some lights, and the same objects are actually in these different places here as well under Parallels, but it's not fully rendering the background in those uh, situations. And you'll see here as we move into this next scene, all this black area on the left under, under uh, VMware Fusion is uh, the not the, un, the unrendered background. So you just see the foreground, some bullets. Uh, you actually, you don't even see the soldiers, just the guns. And uh, on the right-hand side, Parallels Desktop 5 is rendering everything and doing it at a higher frame rate overall. It's, it's much smoother uh, in here. Now, the tests that we're running are under 3 d Mark 6 which is uh, done by a company called FutureMark. And 3 d Mark 6 is, is often considered to be a, a gamer's benchmark. It's a type of utility that you can use if you're on a, a Windows machine that you can go ahead and run these 3D tests and see the effects of adding different video cards or RAM or tweaking the clock on your, uh, the clock rate on your CPU, all these different types of things and get hard numbers so that you can measure from one point to the next and see what they look like. So as we move through this uh, game here, you'll see that, the, that uh, VMware Fusion continues to have problems with the backgrounds and it's a lot choppier than Parallels Desktop 5. We're going to go ahead and stop this test and uh, move into the next one here. And uh, the next test is actually called uh, Firefly Forest. And what's neat about Firefly Forest is that it's got lots of natural backgrounds to it. Trees and bushes and uh, some skyline in there. Um, it gives a, a different set of textures and, and whatnot that you see often in, in many games. And um, in Firefly Forest, there's these two colored fireflies that will be uh, flying around there, and you can see it there on the Parallels desktop side. Uh, VMware Fusion hasn't started it yet. Uh, there's a, a little bit of choppiness here on Parallels. It's not at a, a frame rate that's as fast as you might see on TV and whatnot. Uh, VMware Fusion's definitely struggling on the frame rate. It's at a frame rate of zero or one. That's uh, frames per second. Now, video in the U.S. is at 30 frames per second to give you a, an idea in there. And even at 15 frames per second that you see often on video cameras, uh, on the inexpensive video cameras like on a cell phone and, and whatnot that are a little bit choppy, uh, they look pretty good, but there's still there's definitely a choppiness to it. Uh, Parallels is doing quite well here with uh, Firefly Forest. Um, and on the left, VMware Fusion's having problems not only with the frame rate and the choppiness, as you see, but even there in certain places, the backgrounds are not fully rendered. You get all kinds of weird polygons all over the place uh, as you see some of the, uh, the shadows come out of the eye of that big stump there. And what's um, neat about this one is not only uh, the water and the mountains and whatnot, but also the texture and the colors of... Uh, of this dragon. Um, the colors are very vibrant on this dragon. That probably doesn't make a lot of difference on the graphics side, but the texture in it is uh, combined with it is very visually appealing. Um, so this uh, simulation is about a balloon that's going down uh, the, uh, a canyon with water, and um, VMware Fusion starts it off just a wee bit ahead of Parallels Desktop, but the frame rate is, is, uh, is higher on the Parallels Desktop side. It is running a little bit more smoothly uh, that, that's there. So there's some neat uh, transparencies and reflections in the water. You could see uh, a little bit about what some, uh, what some animation of some people in it. And uh, one of the things that you're seeing here over on the left is that uh, VMware Fusion's at times flashing the screen. Uh, literally the screen, whole screen goes blank, uh, which is obviously very distracting, even more so than the slow frame rate. Now, the frame rate's uh, a little bit faster on, on the parallel side, but more important than that is that there's none of the flashing, everything's fully rendered, uh, and it works out really well. This time we're seeing uh, snow banks, snow drifts, um, caterpillar type of equipment for moving around. Um, there's some really 
interesting, you, know, you see the wind blowing and blowing the snow uh, across and it looks really nice. Uh, um, on the right hand side here on parallels, you can see how beautiful the white snow is with there's some texture to it. Um, you see little bits of little wisps of, of, and bre and of a breeze of, of uh, snow going by. And on the left, um, problems with the reflections in the windows. Obviously the snow is all black. Um, the objects are not rendering properly as far as their textures and backgrounds and, and whatnot. Um, some things are, are proper. The sun is, is done right. The reflections from the sun are done right on VMware Fusion. But overall, as you can see, the, there's all, with all these dark plotches and polygons and all kinds of things that shouldn't be there in VMware Fusion, it's just unable to, uh, to run this part of the test um, uh, effectively. Now, on top of it, um, the frame rates uh, between the two are about the same, but Parallels is rendering it correctly and VMware Fusion is not. Uh, so it doesn't even matter with the frame rates, which one does uh, uh, better or not. You can see this overhead shot as you pull back on it, how drastically different the quality levels are between the two and what's being rendered and what's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run because we're pretty close in here, almost there. And uh, this next one is, um, uh, about doing uh, fills of different uh, shapes and, and whatnot, and they both run um, uh, fairly quickly. It's, there's no real perceivable difference uh, uh, in here between the two. And Pixel Shader here is looking to show you what uh, some of the texture of mountains would be, and, and what's really phenomenal is how fast the frame rate is on these things. You're seeing frame rates up in the you know, 65 frames per second uh, or more, and it's even higher under parallels. Um, textures look really terrific on it and it was really quite, quite good. Now here you see the parallels is smoother and faster in, in this, uh, this next one here, which I believe is called a vertex test. Um, it's shown grass in this particular case. And um, this uh, last one here is um, a type of noise, and it's used for clouds and, and whatnot, and, and uh, there's transparency in the clouds. There's a little bit more detail when you run this under Windows or Boot Camp, uh, but this is, these both look very good, have a nice frame rate to both of them, and um, one may be faster than the other. I think Parallels is a little bit faster here, but uh, they're pretty comparable on this particular uh, part of the graphics test. So this is a, a space scene, and you'll see the thing to take a notice here is about the frame rate, how smooth things are whether you feel like it's jumping around or whether it's nice and smooth in there. If there's a little bit of choppiness to it, that generally means there's a slower frame rate. And you pretty much see that there's a little bit more choppiness on the VMware Fusion side than there is on the, on the parallel side, but they're both, uh, even VMware Fusion is pretty good. And we really see the choppiness there is on the, as that ship appears and as uh, some of these objects go by, they kind of jump and take big steps, whereas the parallels is much smoother uh, um, of, an, of an example and demo here. Now here you're inside this ship and you'll notice a, a jump that's about to happen and you'll see the difference in the frame rate between the two. It's nice and smooth there and it's a little bit choppier there. And again, we go back to the rendering problems where the background's not fully rendered, uh, but the foregrounds uh, are. Uh, it's again, a lot choppier, polygon problems all over the place. It's just uh, kind of a mess under VMware Fusion. But under Parallels Desktop 5, it is quite respectable. Um, it definitely would be very playable. Um, and it was and is a, a, a generally a good experience. Parallels has done a really good job here in beefing up how much better uh, their graphics support is and how much faster their graphics is since Parallels Desktop 4. And they've, they've not only uh, gotten faster and more compatible than VMware Fusion 3, but they're a lot faster uh, overall. And it's really quite evident here as you watch these, uh, the, these simulations go on. So that's about it. Just thought you'd like to uh, see what these things are, are like uh, side by side on the equivalent machine. And uh, hope that's something that you enjoy. And I wish you luck in playing your games and, and uh, enjoy them. Thanks for uh, joining us.